Hey you guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It is me, Mystic Beauty. I'm here to do another general energy reading. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. For those of you guys that are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey friends, welcome. For those of you guys that are returning, welcome back. It is always a pleasure to have you guys here. Okay, so I will be restocking all the oils that are unstock that are out of stock today i will be adding new oils um to my collection you guys um i'll be adding this oil this is peace oil all right i've been sitting on this oil for probably like almost a year now yeah almost a year i've been sitting on this oil i actually keep it on my altar i made it for myself and this brings peace I use this oil when I'm praying, uh, like literally, I use it today at my altar. I put it on my hands when I'm just praying for peace over my life, right? Uh, when I do my white candles. And you know how you do your white candles in your home for peace and protection? And you're just looking for that tranquil energy in your home. Um, you're looking to usher peace into your home and understanding. It's just that... Um, <clears throat> that zen that 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 vi high vibrational energy this is why i use this oil when i'm just like uh chaotic this soothes my anxiety and it's just it just literally put me in that peaceful space that i need to be in so i will be adding peace all to um to the collection like literally today i did a white candle and i used this oil on the candle and I probably like I think I did like lavender lavender um buds on it and <clears throat> and it just pretty much um raised the frequency and the vibration of my home right and myself so I just been in this real zen cool laid back energy ever since this morning so I will be definitely adding this to the collection um those y'all let me know in the comment section for those of you guys that are definitely interested in getting your hands on some peace oil i almost want to call it tranquil oil right tranquility oil i like that tranquility what y'all think i should name this all like we should do that i want y'all more involved in you know our ritual products and naming them and you know just you know we we are friends and family here so what y'all think i should call the all put in the comment section down below um <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into this reading y'all actually i tried to get this reading out last night i you know i'm recovering from a cold so um i got in this this coffin fit you guys i was like oh no i can't do this reading tonight but maybe maybe spirit wanted me to meditate more on the energy before we actually got into it so also you guys don't forget the honey pot is now open so if you want to get in this round um you cash at me or paypal me one dollar and eleven cents that is how we get it popping that is how we keep this blessing going keep the blessing flowing all right um yeah each week we bless one of our cosmic royal family members with cash you guys and i'm so just elated that you know God is blessing me and blessing you guys with the opportunity to be a part of something bigger and greater than ourselves. Amen. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. I want to go ahead and take this opportunity to call in my divine ancestors and call in the Holy Spirit um, to shield me, cover me, and protect me. I want to go ahead and call in um, um, my guardian archangel gabriel to shield me cover me and protect me um as he is the divine messenger right so i can get these messages over to you guys uh wow it was 411 when i said that so i can get these messages over to you guys um clearly right all right <clears throat> so also for those of you guys that are new here go ahead and subscribe while you're here come on be a part of the the tribe so you guys um, this is definitely something dealing with a divine feminine energy here, right? So divine feminine, this is definitely, you are the crown of the reading. You are the crown and jewel of the reading love, but you know, your partner here, the divine masculine, he came out in the reading as well. So this, I know this is not the twin flame channel, but it came out. I have to elaborate on the energy. So these are yin and yang energy here, divine masculine, divine feminine energy here. All right. 
Um, I feel like the Divine Masculine is more connected to the world. So whoever your Divine Masculine is, he's more connected to the world. Like, um, he may be more earthly centered, though he's very, he is a divine being, whether he know it or not. But the Divine Feminine is more connected to the cosmos. So like, even though you have earthly connections here, you, you are more, I don't know, you're a star seed. You know, I mean, I feel like this person could be a star, a star seed as well, but you are definitely more connected to the galaxy, to the universe, to the cosmos. You receive more information. Um, you receive information quicker from the cosmos as well. You have a truly a divine connection to the ethers, you know, so your person may be more 3D right now. They're more connected to the earthly realm. You're more con connected to the heavens and to the galaxy. Okay. So... There has been some signs that this divine feminine has been receiving about this masculine here, who is also a king of wands. This is, um, Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. This person could have been a rolling stone. I ain't gonna lie, player, player. All right, this person could have been a straight player. <laughs> Back in the day, I don't think this person liked this no more. Though. I, I really feel like this person is growing and evolving out of this energy. This is just them back in the day. They was like, yeah, back in the day, straight charmer, right? This person could play in a band. They could play the guitar. They could like, um, mm, they could like, um, this person could love country music. I love country music. Um, this person could love, I don't know, just maybe all genres of music, but this person's kind of giving me like, this is big stepper energy here. This person just, I don't know, this is a ladies man. This person get a lot of freaking attention. They just kind of like, I don't know, women flock to this man if this is a man and like actual man in the physical or whoever your person is. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, this person get attention from the same sex and the opposite sex. Like, this is how fly and how smooth. This is a smooth player, all right? I'm, I heard smooth criminal, for real. Yeah, this person got a kind of an eccentric vibe to them. This person may be an Aquarius or an air sign. I don't know, earthy energy too. So this person could be an earth sign as well, but I don't know. Y'all have, y'all got something on y'all hands. Y'all divine masculine is, is a fool, all right? I love it. So listen, <clears throat> this person is coming out of a space of turmoil. I'm hearing um, nine of swords in reverse. This is no longer being in anxiety. Your person was struggling with anxiety over communicating with you. I'm hearing anxiety over a reconciliation. Uh, this person has been desperate for a reconciliation with you guys for a while. All right. They are coming out of um anxiety this person's like i feel like demons was literally holding this person back from a reconciliation with you and this person is not in this space anymore i feel like they could have broken free from a demonic entity a demonic attachment could have been a karmic lover who had a demonic attachment they are breaking free out of this energy for this final reunion. I'm, I did hear final. So this could possibly end in like a, a, a earthly marriage, which is going to be, it's going to be a beautiful. Okay. Um, so pink moon energy is here. You guys, um, I don't know. Did we just have a pink moon? Y'all, I don't know. I don't be really keeping up. Let me know, all right? But this is about new and exciting opportunities. Focus on the new trans transcendence, maturity, fullness, fertility, first steps unto a new path. So this is your person taking the necessary steps to have grown and matured. So I don't know, something about the pink moon energy and your person maturing and ready to focus on something new new and something better um seizing this opportunity with you guys right being excited about it being excited to communicate to reconcile with you no longer allowing fear to hold them back from communicating with you guys like i feel like this person was definitely um working through their own trauma definitely working through um their own demons or their own karmic attachments and things like that that kept this person away from their divine feminine or vice versa their divine masculine here all right neptune energy is here as well this talks about dreams illusions and fantasy imagination self 
sacrifice, divine love, mirror, conf mirror confusion, subconscious empathy, and magic. So you mirror this person. Y'all connect in the spirit realm together, okay? This this masculine energy had to really sacrifice a lot in order to come and be with their divine feminine because this is a divine love. It speaks of divine love. You mirror this person. When this person is confused, you feel their confusion. When this person is sad, you feel their sorrow. You know, this person is tapped into you deep down in your subconscious, right? Um, I feel like you guys are very empathic. And this is another, like, you really, really feel this person on a subconscious level, on a spiritual level. You are very magical. This person has a lot of magic, too. But I feel like a lot of their their magic was blocked from them. I just heard Corella DeVille. So this person could have been dealing with a deranged karmic partner. They could have been married to this karmic energy. Or <clears throat> this could have been like a, um, mm, I'm like a blood tie some type of blood tie. They could have laid up with somebody when they were on their menstrual. Something crazy. Okay, so this this person got themselves caught up with a very strange and deranged karmic energy. Older woman energy here. Maybe she's older. This person is a real weirdo. All right? This person feel like they own your masculine. They feel like this is their person. And it's not. It's not their person, all right? Um, healing souls and wounds, all right? Wow, you are going to heal with this person. Like, let me tell you, sometimes we think, oh, you got to be completely healed to be with your person. No, you know, this, if, especially if this is your divine masculine or your divine feminine, this is truly a twin flame connection. You guys are going to heal each other. You guys are actually going to heal together. You have everything that this person needs to heal and they have some things that you need to heal too. Beautiful. The wounded healer, growth in teacher, spiritual growth, amends. You guys are going to make amends, right? This person is sick without you. I'm hearing that this person started to feel physical afflictions to their to their body, to their mind, to their soul, to their spirit. This person is spiritually sickened since you guys have been in separation. This is this cut you and this person deeply uh, with soul wound energy being here. This was a, a, a wound to the soul. You being in separation with this person for this long, how this person could have, you know, cut up. This person did some I'm hearing atrocious things to you when they were under the influence of this demonic attachment. But I see this person going through some type of healing. You guys, this person's experiencing a cleansing, negative energy and a fresh start. Yeah, this person is coming through for a fresh start after they have experienced a fresh start. Like if y'all prayed for this person, I'm getting a heavy energy of mystic. I prayed for my masculine. I pray for my feminine baby. When I tell you your, your prayers went straight from your mouth to God's, to God's ears, literally straight to the heavens. Yes. This person is getting a fresh start in life because of you. Wow. My ear is tingling. God heard you. This person is getting your divine masculine or divine feminine is receiving a fresh start because of you love, because of your un unconditional love. Because you were able to put aside your pride and your ego and your like remove any resentment and truly pray a, a, a deep rooted soulful prayer for them. You know what I'm saying? A selfless prayer for your person of healing, of cleansing, of rejuvenation, of a reset in their life. And you didn't pray this prayer because you wanted to be with them. No, you was like, no, I love you and I want you to be happy and healed no matter what. I see this is the issue and I just want you to be healed, right? I want you to be restored in the spirit. And I feel like when you when you, when you you did this and you prayed for this person, if you haven't, you need to do so, but do it selflessly. And a part of this person's healing is them being with you anyway, for real, uh, uh, like, listen, this person cannot be with you guys if they're unhealed. God is not going to permit it. So if you want to help this union or just forget the union, if you want to help your person, pray for them. And I feel like somebody really did that because I see this person experiencing a transformation that is just, you know, unheard of in such a short amount of time. This person is going from demon time to God's time. Amen. Okay. So Taurus energy here. So you may be dealing with a Taurus. You may be a Taurus. This talks about fertile and self-indulgent working on yourself okay so this is being patient you are very patient with this person you are very patient you are very loyal to this person this person could have been you know very materialistic you know this person could have strayed away from the connection for materialistic gains maybe this karmic offered them money or maybe they felt like they could get you know <clears throat> 
maybe they feel like they could receive something tangible like this person could have been coming off as, as an opportunist you know and not to hold anything against them because you know we all have fall, fallen short right we've all fallen short on our journey so this was a part of your person's lesson we're not going to bash them for you know i'm learning to view see things from a higher perspective more on my journey so i'm i'm here to say they did what they did. We've done things that we shouldn't have done when we were vibrating on a lower level or when we were contracted to learn certain lessons on our journey. So I just feel like this person did what they did to you because they did not know any better spiritually. They didn't. This person was going through the dark night of the soul. This person was very much in their karmic energy. Um, and this person's going to make amends. They're going to apologize to you for this. Like, you're going to, but it's going to be a genuine, sincere apology followed by physical action, like making something right. Like this person's going to physically make something right. They definitely signed a contract with a dark energy here, a karmic who promised them money, wealth, freedom. You can have all the women you want, all the men you want, whatever. But this was, they signed a deal with the devil. That's what they did, you know? Wow, star seed energy here. You may be um, this Palladian energy, but um, I heard Ly Ly um, Lyran. I think I'm saying it wrong. Y'all put in the comment section. That's another um, star seed collective. But yeah, wow. Yeah, this person was definitely being controlled. And they were definitely being controlled by a dark energy. They were. Someone tried to dominate and, and entrap them and keep this person from you or keep you from them. You know, but this person, whoever did this, um, who interfered with this with this divine connection is facing judgment. Yeah, and you will receive communication from this person. You, you're going to receive communication from your person because they're going to tell you everything that they went through. This person is going to tell you how all the betrayals that they experienced and how you was right and how, you know, they should have taken, they shouldn't have never taken you for granted. And this person is going to tell you, you're going to hear about this person's karma straight from their lips. It says, goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I miss you until we meet again. So yeah, you're going to, you guys are going to cross paths with this person again. They were just unemotionally, they were emotionally unavailable because they were blind. It says twin flame is not ready. This person was blind, but they were blind due to spell work and manipulation. Yeah, but I see this person coming through to um to me help you heal your heart. You guys are going to heal together. This person could have possibly created a karmic child during the separation here, and it, it's a part of their karma. It's, it, it is it's bad karma, right? Yeah. So just you know, a heads up. I feel like you know, I know God is not going to put more on you than you can bear. You're going to necessarily you're going to have the tools necessarily necessary to deal with what is given to you. Like especially if you're destined to be with this person, I'm not going to say, well, don't be with them because they got a karma child. No, I feel like you know God is going to see see this through for you and this person. God is going to put this karmic child, not the karmic child, but God is going to put the, the 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 karmic child's mother in her place. You know, there will be boundaries set where, see, look, ancestral protection, your ancestors are going to step in if you choose to take this masculine back, if, even if they have a karmic child. This was their karma. This has nothing to do with you. You see what I'm saying? But you have protection because you are chosen. Okay? This is not, it's not going to affect you at all. It's not. Spirit is going to set it up where if you and this person end up coming into union here, that they won't be able to target you. It won't affect your money, your finances. It won't affect you at all. Like, they're literally going to draw a strong spiritual line of boundaries between this karmic child and the karmic mother in the chosen divine, divine feminine energy here. They will not cross the gun line, trust me. All right? So, let me get some... um final messages for you guys i'm going to be using word of advice bestie about the oracle mystic um the avatar high priestess and let's just i don't know let's get some advice for my besties what do they need to hear the most right now holy spirit what does my spiritual besties need to hear the most right now all right you guys i'm going to be posting on my twin flame channel today so thank y'all for being patient with me as I'm getting my life back, you know, organized. No one is responsible for you and vice versa. But if they do choose to 
but if they do choose to be appreciated so spirit is saying nobody is responsible for you guys but if you have somebody in your life that choose to take on some responsibility for you or um you guys need to appreciate that or somebody needs to appreciate you for taking on burdens for them or being responsible for them or being there for them like somebody you have to make people appreciate y'all and if they don't appreciate you guys then cut their asses off let them go that's pretty much what, what spirit is saying okay mm. give me one more <clears throat> Your purpose is bigger than your problems. So whatever you're going through right now, just know your calling is greater. Your purpose is bigger. Your mission is, is bigger. So no weapon formed against you will ever prosper. Okay, you can't change or save everyone, but you can inspire. So just know that you are truly an inspiration to those around you guys. And that is a part of your purpose and mission here is to, is to continue to inspire others through being your genuine, authentic self. Being yourself is, is helping other people people for real for real living truth and authenticity uh, authenticity okay all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i hope you enjoyed this message let me know in the comment section down below what you know all right i love you guys to life peace